So my name is Kim Jackson. I'm with the St. Pete Arts Alliance. I'm an overall obsessed with the arts. And I'm with one of our favorite artists that he doesn't even know about, Zulu, who's a muralist and very well known in the community. I'm the artist known as Zulu Painter. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Arts Alliance, for this opportunity. So tell me about your journey. Why do you love what you do and how did you get here to St. Pete? Um, I've always loved art. Uh, as a kid, I would copy um, comic strips out of the newspaper and um, art has just been the path and I've lo been lucky enough to, to realize that that was my thing. You know, a lot of times people search and they say, what do I want to be? I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a police officer, I want to be a basketball player. Uh, it's always been art. Nothing has ever stopped it. In fact, like, I'm a big guy, so I let a lot of people down. They wanted me to be some type of football player, basketball player, and I'm like, nah, I just wanna, I just wanna create. So as a novice and someone who just like appreciates art, your art to me is very colorful and it's very powerful. I feel like there's always a story impacted in the space. Can you tell me if that is true or can you tell me like where your, you know, your inspiration comes from? Um, for me, uh, color is just a natural thing to just keep going and try all the colors, not be afraid of them. And a lot of times people get caught up in color. Like they, if they see a picture of someone who is brown shade, they think that that art is for people of that shade. And it's ridiculous because art is for everybody. And so I use all the colors so that people understand that there's no boundaries. Nice, you said art is for everyone. So I'm a huge supporter of just equitable spaces, no matter what the space is. And so how have you found art to be equitable in our county? And if not, why? It's a, it's a lot of give and take. Mm -hmm. um, I think that for most of us, we're living check to check, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to keep up with that. Just as for art to be the main, the sole uh, source of income, it's really hard. I dabble in everything, so there's a lot of jobs that I have that are art related, so that I have to do a bunch of different things to make all the ends meet. What do you think that the Art Alliance is doing well, and what can we do better? I think the Arts Alliance is doing great at getting people motivated, giving, putting out opportunities for artists to, to, to make the ends meet by um, applying themselves. Um, I think that the Arts Alliance has exposed uh, a lot of people to these opportunities that otherwise they would not have ever, ever even taken that chance, and that the, the range of arts covered, you know, it's like, it's everything. Painting, drawing, photography, dance, theater. The Arts Alliance, like, really is an alliance of the arts coming together and making things happen. Um, to do anything better just requires uh, people at a higher level to see the benefits of the arts on communities and how it can bring people together and to, like, vote or legislate things that will provide more funding so artists can live that life and contribute to their communities. So can you tell me about this one that intrigues me? Because of course it's a, it's a young man and he has a bank in his hand and um, looks like there's smoke coming from a building. So, so this <laughs> one, uh, this is actually one of my cousins. Okay. And the idea behind this piece is that when you have your own, you don't have to worry so much about what's going on. So there's a dollar sign in here. It's kind of hard to see, mm -hmm. but this is a big banking institution. This is something that he can't control as a, a common everyday citizen, especially a young child. But he gets to learn from a young age that he, if he creates his own source and, and uh, savings, that he can survive any, any trauma, any crazy disaster that might happen. Um, and a little bird told him this information. So we have to carry on and, and, and share wisdom with other people, the youth, friends, other artists, and let them know like, hey, if you do this, maybe that might be the way. So he's got his piggy bank. He's not going to worry about what's happening over here with the big, big business, the, the big banking system. He's got his own thing going on. He's got his own destiny. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 
Right. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.